Hello, friends, and welcome back to Bucket List Homestead. Today is part two of our dream garden build, and we have much needed help from Aiden today. This part of the garden used to be what I had. I had strawberries in here one time. I planted carrots near the end of summer last year. Um, it's really kind of in the way and, and not really uh, good for anything right now. So we're going to tear this all apart. I don't know what we have planned for this yet. Um, we might put some garden boxes here eventually, but for now it's got to go. While I was trying my hardest wrestling with that wire fencing around that old section, the boys decided to move the uh, garden bed and they let me know that they were finding tons of worms. So instead of wasting these worms, I filled up some beautiful dirt uh, in my plant pots and basically I am farming worms. <laughs> I'm going to let them have a nice place to live and I will be adding all these amazing worms to our garden beds once we fill them. Uh, funny thing is, when we first started gardening this property eight years ago, the first two or three years, we never had worms. I actually had to buy worms from the bait shop to throw into my garden because the previous owners, we believe, may not have used the best things because um, he wanted a beautiful lawn. A beautiful lawn was more important than anything else. So I'm happy and proud to say that after many years of struggling, I now have many worms in our dirt. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Whew, gotta get homestead fed again. <laughs> um, we've decided we're not gonna tear this out this year. A lot of my herbs overwintered really well. All the mints I planted, the sage even, um, the, what else was in there? Some of the basils maybe even look like they survived. So I pulled out a lot of the weeds. I'm still gonna plant a lot of my herbs in my stacker pots. Um, all the ones I have growing in the house right now. But I'm gonna let these few and over here, my first herb garden, the chives, the oregano, and the thyme, they're all coming back. So I really, really, really don't want to dig them up. Now, in the fall, if I am, in the fall, hopefully I can, and I'll put them in the garden beds then, uh, the raised beds. But for now, this is going to stay. Um, this actually gets a lot of shade too, so some things aren't going to do that great anyway. So we've decided to start, instead of starting here with the garden bed, we're going to start from here and go over that way a bit and out this way because um, we have the room. So, and you can see we have help today. <laughs> so that's making it go a lot better, quicker. Um, right now the boys are getting the, and you guys look crooked. I'm not, my, our ground's not very level. The boys are getting the ATV out right now, the four wheeler with the plow attachment. <laughs> And we're gonna see if we can level out the dirt and spread the dirt around with that. I don't know. We'll see, but oh, I got something to show you. Do you see all that? Right there. Garlic! It's popping up like crazy. You see, we were too early because of this warm weather. Hopefully they'll be okay with the cold snap we're having coming. It's not gonna go below freezing. So, but man, look at it all. There's lots of it. I didn't plant as much as last year because I still have a lot of last year's in my freezer um, that I pureed, but this will be fabulous for, I still have a lot powdered too. I'm definitely going to dehydrate more this year because I do like using garlic powder a lot more than I am in some recipes. So. Yay, the signs of, of our garden are sprouting. So I am taking all the credit for trying the four-wheeler to help level out the ground and spread some of the bigger piles of dirt around. I figured if it could work with snow, why not dirt? And anytime Aiden gets to use the four-wheeler for anything, it's never a chore. <laughs> so he was all game to try it. So fingers crossed, it's actually going to work.
much power there. So using the four-wheeler was a huge success. It certainly saved us quite a bit of time and energy. <laughs> Um, so after that, it was digging, getting out the rakes and the shovels and trying to level this out as best we could and spreading around all this dirt. Um, this is a little heartbreaking because this was actually quite beautiful dirt that I've worked a long time on um, getting, you know, good quality, but uh, that's okay. We're going to have good quality dirt in the garden beds. And uh, as you see here, Aiden and I were finding even more worms. So I got a second plant pot filled with uh, this beautiful dirt and gave the worms a home for a couple of weeks until I can get them into the garden beds. And we found some doozies, some really big ones. So I cannot say how happy we were to have Aiden come out and help us. Um, Dave and I are feeling it. <laughs> Certainly the next day, uh, quite sore, but uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm always so amazed and proud of the things we accomplish as a family. And Grace helping keep the dogs busy was a big help too. So this is what we had about an hour and one broken rake later. Not too shabby of a job. There's our broken rake. <laughs> David doesn't know his own strength, apparently. And here, we just had Aiden. He was going to smooth it all out for us so we could see if uh, it was a little bit more level. It's definitely more level than it was. Is it perfect? No, but that's okay. Um, it's certainly better than it was, and that's what we were going for. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but this is definitely flatter. It looks a lot better. So now it's time to start rolling out the wire mesh that we bought. This is to help keep the voles and any other creatures that dig underneath to come up through the garden beds. I did this in my garden raised beds last year and it worked great. So this is going to be on a much bigger scale. We're actually doing the whole as much as we can where all the raised beds are going to be. And let me tell you, this stuff is sharp. I don't know why one end is so much sharper than the other end, but I definitely recommend using gloves when using this wire mesh netting. but it's so hot that we tried to wait it out for a little bit. Um, it is the same day. We are wearing different clothes. <laughs> um, we changed before we went to the store and we put cooler things on, but this is all still Sunday, the same day. But uh, yeah, it, um, it took a little bit longer because the place we went to to get some that said they had it online, they did not when we got there, or at least they couldn't find it. So we ended up having to drive to another store that's about 20 minutes away to get another roll of that. Um, mesh wire that we're putting down. We are one short, darn it. So we got one more. So we're going to get that done and put our uh, cloth, weed barrier cloth down. Um, I spent a little bit more money this year and got really good stuff because the stuff I bought in the past is almost papery and it doesn't last. It doesn't even last the summer and it does not really keep the weeds from getting up. So this time I bought it. I will link it down in the description box from Amazon. I did buy it when it was on sale. I don't know if it still is.
How's it going, David? done for the day after a stinking what half hour with those green <sighs> raised beds they have bars and we forgot about them and I had done a different method last year I think it's the roost out method I can't remember anymore where you fill up with a bunch of branches and twigs and all that and then dirt and we forgot one of them was really full of branches and big so we had to get rid of all of them so we could pull those out of there because of the bars going across but anyway it's done i'm gonna step out of the way so you can see it um i can see it <laughs> i can finally see it quite frankly i'd be happy um i'd pretty much be happy the way it is <laughs> right now but it's not critter proof by any means so we definitely got to do that with all the critters here and uh but i can actually see it so we're pretty much done until we start the build right so we've just these beds are not staying where they are they're just basically to hold down the weed claw so i'll step out of the way and let you see how it looks until then take care god bless and we'll see you in the next video